Make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Enjoy. What is up, guys? How you doing? It's your boy Victor. We thank you gaming. So we are picking up right from when we create your player and we are starting road to the show. And this is the first thing that comes up. You get to choose if you want to be drafted or if you want to go to the team, your favorite team. If you guys know me, I'm a Mets fan, so I'm going to definitely choose the Mets. But let's just go over the three options so you guys can see. First of all, I just want to play ball for a club that wants me the most. There is one team I've heard from more than a couple of times. Not really, but I know what type of club I like to play for. So that's the one that you get to choose which one you want to play. So let's click that one. Like, what do you have in mind? Now, we're looking for a National League club, but you can view, you know, I want to play for a team currently viewed as a strong contender, beats the odds. So actually, there is one particular team I have in mind, and I do. There is one particular team you have in mind. So you use American League, you're just going to narrow it down to American League. National League, same thing. Strong contenders, you're going to go to the best teams, and of course, beat the odds. You're going to go to those teams that are not rated as high. But if you want a specific team, is going to be actually there is one particular team I have in mind. So this is the one that we're going to use because I want to be with the Mets. I feel like the Mets need the third baseman. That's what I'm going to be playing for them. And let's do this. So actually, there's one particular team I have in mind. And I get to choose. Let me guess. The Orioles? No, coach. It's actually one of their AL rivals. Nope. Not even in the right league, coach. It's a National League club. The Dodgers? No, it's an NL East team. Which team? The New York Mets. We're going to the Mets, fellas. So let's get this real quick Mets. Just be ready to give it your best for whomever puts their trust in you. Right. Coach, I'm kind of expecting a call here. <laughs> right. This is That was funny. I don't want to tie you up. Line, good luck, son. And we continue. So... Let's just watch these guys. Carlos, you lived that in your baseball career. What's this world like? Oh, it's extremely exciting. You know that if you perform, you will get the call. We've got a developing story here. JP, what are you hearing? I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my sources and my scouts, and they're all telling me, hey, this could actually work. Most of us mere mortals, when we were that age, we were barely chewing gum and walking at the same time, let alone playing the hardest game there is. That team is pumping up mentally here to adapt. That's what good players do. That dream of getting the big leagues is now becoming reality with that one phone call. Continuing our MLB Draft Day 2 wrap-up coverage, back to the prospect that we mentioned before the break. There was some surprise, even some criticism of the front office over how early he went off the board. Jonathan Mayo, what do you think of this pick? Man, I, I don't think any of us saw this one coming. This uh, definitely feels like a, a reach to me. Uh, you know, I, I had him more as a, a day three kind of guy. Uh, there was a split camp. A lot of scouts disagreed whether he's better as a pitcher or better as a hitter. I, I'm guessing the, the the team felt that he's got potential on both sides of the ball, and, and maybe that adds some value to him. But uh, this made me scratch my head a little bit for sure. All right, Jonathan Mayo, thanks. Uh, what about you, Jim Callis? Was this a head scratcher or the reach of the draft, as some of the other analysts have suggested? Yeah, you know, I, I talked to somebody with the team, and they look, they're, they're excited to get this guy. This is a guy they really want. And the two points the club made to me were, one, you know, this whole debate, is he a hitter, is he a pitcher? You know, what are you going to do with him? You know, there was a lot of confusion. This team isn't confused. This team feels like he's a, he's got very good potential as a hitter and as a pitcher. They may even try to play in both ways. And they also, they felt like there were a couple other teams that were starting to sniff around this guy. And, you know, this isn't the NFL or NBA draft where you can trade down to get a guy you want. If you want a guy, you have to take him because there, there's no trades. And, and they felt like if they didn't take him where they did, somebody else was going to get them. And they just absolutely did not want that to happen. Jim Callis, we appreciate the time. Thanks. A minor league manager checks in with one of his players to discuss a launch plan for the young man's development. 
All right, guys, I had to mute my mic. I don't know if you guys cut that. What an intro. I was blown away. And the phone, like, the in, like I knew, I knew what team I was going to go to. But, like, the suspense, I was like, what? It felt real. This is something that I've been wanting for Road to the Show for to feel somewhat real. And that was pretty awesome. And the fact that they're talking about me and how they think I'm a two-way player... I think we're gonna be a two-way player, guys. I'm trying to be a third baseman for the for the Mets, and also be able to pitch maybe late innings, come out of the bullpen as a closer or as a reliever. That would be pretty awesome. Um, we've seen it with the DH; that's obvious. But can we do it with the Mets? So I don't know. We're just gonna do it. Uh, we're gonna be two-way players, so we're gonna pitch and hit. So it says the club is intrigued by your potential as a two-way player, Victor. Now, you guys know my name. If TYG underscore Vix didn't give it away, you mean pitching and position play? I'm game. Let's try it. That's what I want to do. I'm game. Let's try it. Let's try it, everybody. What do you see yourself playing in the field? Somewhere in the infield for sure because we want to be a third baseman. What spot are you thinking? Well, we want to be third base because... Well, I love J.D. Davis, but the way the Mets are set up now, I think they could potentially be better, especially with me there. We'll give you one game on the mound and a couple in the field, and then we'll touch base again. Well, I think that's pretty good. So, I'm game. Rolling along with the podcast and back on the prospect who's divided the scouting community, I am opposed to this belief that he went too high. I really think he could be a steal here. This is a guy who's got so much development left to do. He's got so much potential. And I think all the scouts who are down on him think, oh, he's not a finished product. We don't know what he is. That, to me, could be a good thing. He can hit. He can field. He can pitch. There is so much untapped potential so far for this guy. I'm excited to see what he becomes. And certainly as he gets started actually playing, actually being in games, we're going to be able to talk to some other folks who get a better read on him and see what they think. I'm excited for that. And frankly, I'm going to have my eye on him for a while. All right, guys, so, wow. I mean, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, I'm going to be putting out videos, content of my how my player goes around playing. We no longer have to do the whole three games because we chose the team. I, I believe that's the case. But that's pretty cool. You get a podcast as well that they talk about you. You get actual MLB analysts. I mean, I know they said they said this in the future premieres, but I'm just blown away by it. It looks it looks way better. Is more interactive having this um, buttons around the the screen. Like it, it's really is nice. Is what they've done this year is nice. Of course, you have to equip a lot of things for this player. We is we yet need to find out how the whole upgrading system works. But I'm really excited. Really excited. This is pretty much kind of like a first look of a revamp road to the show. I'm super excited so excited i forgot to mute my i forgot to mute my my speaker while doing this video and i was not gonna do it again so you guys probably heard some echo i apologize on that on that front but anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed the video uh leave a like leave a comment subscribe to our channel follow us on twitter follow us on twitch and stay tuned for more content we're just hitting this hitting the ground running and just putting content after content for you guys, especially those new guys out there playing the show. So, again, hopefully you guys can support us. We appreciate the love. This is your boy, Vix38, and he's out. Deuces! Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button. Promise you, you will not regret it. Also, watch our latest video and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch so you guys can stay up to date with our latest content. I'm out. Deuces!